We can imagine another analogy. Suppose that our consciousness is like a net that has ideas constantly flowing through it. Do we want our net to catch every idea? Probably not. Does anyone know how many thoughts we have a day? Anyone want to guess? Yeah, I, I don't, I mean, this is outside my ex area of expertise, but I read that we have 4,000 thoughts a day on average. Can you imagine what it would be like if we took each thought as seriously as the next one? It would be an absolute disaster. So in, our, in that net of consciousness, we need to be able to catch and hold on to some ideas, and we need to let others fly through. Some ideas might be really bad. Maybe those are the, those ideas that, uh, you know, that person next to me is being really annoying. I like, like to slap them in the head. You know, that kind of idea, we don't want to pay attention to that. It's going to get us into trouble. Some of them could be just downright irrelevant. You know, we're trying to do work and then we're thinking about our favorite ice cream or something like that. You know, you start daydreaming about something. that You know, those aren't the ideas that are helpful either. On the other hand... What if we couldn't catch any of these ideas flying through? What if we had a vision, a goal that was motivating us, and then as soon as it motivated us, three seconds later, we forgot about it? Well, it's probably not going to motivate us very well if we can't hold on to that idea. Or if we're doing a task and there are ideas and thought processes that are relevant to that task, we need to be able to hold on to those ideas. Take, for example, again... Um, Thoughts about sex. Does anyone know how many times the average person thinks about sex in a day? Yeah. Well, it's different for men and women. So I read, I read of one study. I read of one study where the median, uh, the median for women was 10 and the median for men was 18. But the women reported between 1 and 140 thoughts about sex per day. So there was high inter-individual variation. And the men reported between 1 and 388 thoughts about sex per day. <laughs> Can you imagine what it would be like if we acted on every one of those thoughts? I would pity the guy who had 388 thoughts about sex per day. I mean, if he acted on all of those, he'd either wind up in jail probably or in a lot of trouble with his wife. So we need to be able to... We need to be able to have this net in our consciousness that has the flexibility to change its shape so that some ideas it can let through and other ideas it catches on to. But at the same time, that net needs to have the stability so that once it holds on to that idea, it can keep it there and can keep it there as long as it needs to be there, but then has the flexibility to let it go again when the time for that idea is passed. So once again, we need this balance of mental stability and mental flexibility in order to shape our thoughts, in order to hold on to the right thoughts, let go of the wrong ones, and overall shape our behavior the way that is most beneficial to us. Because our thoughts may make very good servants, but they make terrible masters.